And there's the bell. Don't be surprised at all if these guys attempt to one-up each other in this one. The range of emotions here is startling. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. I, I mean, I got goosebumps. This match is going to be so unpredictable. I just can't wait. It's no surprise that someone the likes of Dean Ambrose would utilize a lethal maneuver like his Dirty Deeds finisher. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, boy, I think the referee is out of it. Not today. Too fast. Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. The shoulders are... Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Dean Ambrose is not going to go away that easy. Why well, he got his opponent, and what's he going for here? Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're coming to you live from sunny Tampa on the west coast of Florida. Michael, you mentioned Dean Ambrose and his Dirty Deeds finisher. It looks like a descendant of the DDT. When Ambrose nails an opponent with that, you can hear everyone in the arena gasp at the same time. That move's annihilating. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Dean Ambrose could be on the proverbial dream street after that one. Oh, you're right. Good grief. I think I felt that one from all the way over here. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his offensive armory, if you will, the Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose entering offensive philosophy. Fast, lethal, and out of nowhere. Oh, Cole, you nail them, and there's a really good chance they felt the force of the Dirty Deeds finishing move, courtesy of Dean Ambrose. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. Whoa. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. We're looking at complete domination here. The eccentric and calculated Dean Ambrose has created an unbelievable arsenal to punish his opponents. To those opponents, they must be aware of the neck breaker, kitchen sink knee, running drop kick, snap DDT, and his corkscrew elbow. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Dean Ambrose takes the upper hand here. I can't believe the referee didn't see that. You know, Michael, you spoke earlier about the array of moves that Dean Ambrose has, and I'll add the several types of suplexes he flattens foes with. I know he hopes to punish opponents with every move, and it's important to remember that each of Ambrose's moves can and will change the course of a match. He's got him! now. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The world is watching and I guarantee a pin attempt out of nowhere. Wow. 
The lunatic French Dean Ambrose is so maniacal, he perfected several submission holds to cripple his adversaries. Ambrose is proficient in applying the crossface chicken wing, the bow and arrow, the Fujiwara armbar, and the figure four leg lock. Well, that gives you a peek into Dean Ambrose's psyche. If you dare want to take that trip, Ambrose loves destruction and he loves inflicting pain on others. Winning a match or just leaving an opponent beaten and battered, it's all the same to Dean Ambrose. So good to be back in Tampa tonight. There are so many rabid WWE fans here in the Sunshine State. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. In the mid-2000s, Dean Ambrose became known on the independent wrestling circuit for taking and dishing out ungodly amounts of punishment. To fans around the world, Ambrose emerged in 2012 as the eccentric leader of the Hounds of Justice, known as the Shield. Oh, Ambrose emerged as the leader of the Shield, all right. When they arrived in WWE, the Hounds of Justice planned and carried out vicious attacks on all of WWE's most beloved heroes. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Look, Dean Ambrose, he looks like he's got the arm trap cross leg STF. Dean Ambrose is going to close it out. The lunatic friends may have things well in hand. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could... The shoulders are down! Well, viscerating WWE's most revered figures, Dean Ambrose became the 77th individual to hold the prestigious United States Championship, a prize that dates back to 1975 in the NWA, when WWE Hall of Famer Harley Race defeated Johnny Weaver to become the first champion. Dean Ambrose able to break free. Uh oh, he's in position, ready to strike. Going for the big one. Incredible move by Dean Ambrose. Finisher going for the cover. Describe this match. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. When you see that, you have no choice.